Hello, friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And, you know, I had uh, uh, so much footage, so much video from Aquashella that I had to decide what to what to keep and what to not uh, what to not include, what to include. And, and I ended up with this like 35 minute video that emphasized three things. It, um, it emphasized uh, the people, my favorite part of Aquashella, the people. Uh, the the vendors, right? The vendors and products and the fish. And rather than just release one 35-minute video, I mean, I know how hard it is to sit down and watch a video. I decided to go ahead and break it down into parts. And so this first part is going to be about the people of Aquashella. So uh, let's go ahead. And um, and for those of you who watched the live stream on Saturday, you, you've already seen this, uh, but maybe you'll want to see it again. It's a lot of fun. Well, let's take a look at um, at the people of Aquashella, and this was just a small portion of the number of people that I ran into, that that I spoke with, that I took pictures with, that I that introduced themselves to me, that I was so happy to see, and uh, so I couldn't I couldn't capture all of them. Sometimes I just didn't have my camera ready or whatever, but for whatever reason. So, uh, but let's go ahead and just jump into it. My favorite part of Aquashella, uh, the people. On Saturday evening, they got all of the creators, YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagram people. They brought us all over to one area, and we took a big, uh, we took a, a big group shot. Some of the folks not in it, like uh, Drew from Fishy Biz, he couldn't make it. But there's Drew, along with uh, Brandon, the blind fish keeper, and Jerry from Jerry's Fish Room. They gave us a table where we could uh, sign things and meet people, and and it was just kind of a cool little setup. You can see Drew there signing something. All of us were uh, set up to give talks. I, I was set up for a talk at 6 p.m. on the uh, 10 tips for a better cichlid tank, and you can watch that on the Aqua Shallow channel. My original um, slated guest was going to be James Largo from the Cichlid Shack, but um, as it turns out, he couldn't make it, and um, I was also going to have Joe, so Joe ended up being the the key guest. All right, so I'm here with my buddy. Hey, Joe from. <laughs> I got Plus, t-shirts. We're giving away t-shirts and I'm stickers. With... And stickers. <laughs> and if pins. You, if you see us, run us down, because we'll give you some stuff. But I'm here with Glass, uh, co-owner of Glass Cages. We're going to be talking at 6 p.m. We're giving a live stream. And uh, what do you think of the show? I love it. A lot of great people. A lot of good conversation. So many passionate people. That's what I like. It's infectious out here. People passionate about fish, mm -hmm. tanks, and everything, corals and plants, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I love it. The best part of Aquashella for me is, has always routine me, been the people, the people part of it. You know, I enjoy it. Hooking up with guys like you, and last year with your son and your friend, oh. and, and uh, anyway, just making those connections. So at any rate, I just want you folks out there to meet Joe and see him up, up close. Oh no. <laughs> I should have shaved. <laughs> All right, well, come find us. Got shirts. Walking yeah, we, around we the house. T-shirts and stickers. Anybody that, that runs us down. All right. Thanks. Let's go. The panels were uh, back to back all day long. And um, here's one going on. And you really couldn't walk by the YouTuber area while the uh, show was, was going without seeing uh, some prominent creative individuals on a panel delivering something on the um, Aquashella channel and so um, that was that was a lot of fun and next year what they'll do is they'll have speakers they'll have actually uh, some speakers plugged in so people can hear the talks as they're being delivered if you go to the Aquashella channel you can see the different topics that were delivered over over both days. Quite a few different topics. I'm sure there's something there you'll find interesting. A lot of my favorite YouTubers were there, including John from KG Tropicals and Jason, his wife, from uh, Primetime Aquatics. It was just a pleasure to uh, be able to spend a little time and speak with these folks. All three of them are just a class act. The um, Aquarium Co-op booth has got to be probably one of the most visited and most popular booths at the entire show. People were lining up to meet uh, Zenzo and Corey and the rest of the co-op uh, co-op team and pick up their free t-shirt which was for channel members and um, 
the line to pick up the t-shirts never it never slowed down it just went uh, along the uh, along the side here you'll see to the to the back of the convention area and then turned and then went along the back wall uh, they definitely had one of the most popular popular exhibits and in the entire show so i'm here with uh, a friend of the channel frank frank yes. from puerto rico yes so frank say hello to everybody hello guys i having a good time here with ben and everything that is going on here it's great to, to greet you so here i am having let's, a good time let's say hello to to our friends who speak spanish Vamos a dar un saludo grande uh, a, a los amigos que hablan español. Hola, saludos a todos. Estamos aquí en Aguachela disfrutando, pasándola bien en este magnífico evento. Eh, así que si tienen una oportunidad, lleguense hasta acá. Saludan a Ben, pasamos un buen rato y Dios los bendiga. Gracias, amigo. All right. My contact, my contact point here at uh, Aguachela on getting here and being part of the fish tuber community or the creative, uh, what they call the creator community. Uh, was Carrie the that now is it Science Gal Aquatics? Yeah, Science Gal Aquatics. Science Gal Aquatics on YouTube. Check out her channel, and um, you can see we're being uh, <laughs> photo bombed there by Caveman Aquatics. Uh -huh. But thank you so much for your help. Thank you for being here. here. Thank and, you. Uh, come to Aquashella. It's a lot of fun. You get to meet people and get a uh, a face with what is often just names. Yes. You know, for me certainly, I've met people come up to me and go, oh, I'm, you know. Voodoo 772. And, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so nice to see people in person That's and right. have that connection. It's it's awesome. And check out her channel on YouTube, folks. Thank you do uh, live streams too, don't you? Yes, we do live streams. And I have mainly live bears, but I do have a silver arowana too. So, there you go. All kinds of things. There you go. Check her out, guys. Bye bye. Hey, y'all. This is Eddie. I'm by the Aquatics. Check, 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 check her out. Ben Lachalk's amazing guy. I paid him ten dollars to say that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your support of the yeah. channel, my friend. Definitely. Okay, I am here with Roland. Hey, Roland. Hey, how you doing, Ben? Roland's a fan, a fan of the channel. And uh, what do you think about Aquashella? Think about Aquashella. It's awesome. Everybody needs to come. If you haven't been here, so, awesome. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of people like us. A lot to see, and I get to meet. Uh, I get to meet people who watch the channel and their beautiful families. Family here. Ava, Roland Jr., my wife Angie. Awesome. Awesome. We love that channel. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right. I want you to say both both your name on YouTube, but also share if you if you want your, your first name. And here we go. Hi, I'm Oink Master Supreme Forever. My new first name is Phyllis Crystal. Oink Master Supreme Forever. <laughs> I love these YouTube names. At any rate, a pleasure meeting you. A pleasure meeting you too. It's been an honor to meet everybody. It really has. We're Thank part, you. We're part of a great community, and she's part of it. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, so I'm, here, I'm here with two prominent YouTubers. <laughs> modest, modest and prominent. Zenzo and Jason. So, uh, guys, I just want your two-minute take on all the clamor that's been going on about the Lacey Act. Zenzo, you first. Just... Give me your, your one minute, two minute. What do yeah, you for me, it's like 30 seconds. I don't have a very strong opinion about it. I know, I know a lot of people are very passionate about this and they're upset. Um, for me, I feel like there are so many other fish in a hobby that I'm still going to be able to enjoy that I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about it and the way that I, I don't feel strongly really about uh, having to you know fight the bill very much um it might not be popular but that's just how i feel I, I don't i don't i have so many other things are going on in the world right now that i think are more important about writing my, writing to my senator about than what kind of fish i get to keep so that's my opinion very cool i appreciate that a lot jason so jason what are your thoughts on the lacy act well again i don't know a lot about it uh, what i do know is that they're trying to put a white list together of fish that you can keep and if you can't keep them, they have to do studies. I don't know how that's going to impact the aquarium hobby. I would probably defer to the, the people who are really in the industry that know exactly how it's going to impact their businesses. For me, I, I don't know how that's going to look just yet. I haven't got enough information to really feel extremely 
worried just yet. I appreciate that. So the consensus really is take a deep breath. <laughs> Let's not worry so much. And I agree with you, Zendo. We got bigger issues. <laughs> bigger issues. There's a lot of wonderful fish still out there that people don't eat that are able to, that they are able to eat. And, you know, I mean, other countries have had, you know, like this before. There are fish that I get from in California as an example, and I still have a great time in the hobby. So, awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm here with Flip Aquatics, Rub, and uh, just want to say I've been watching your channel. You get some great stuff on there. Thank you, Ben. Um, I know you were away from YouTube for a little bit. Now you're coming back strong, and you're doing importing and stuff. So I just want to ask you a quick question. Yep. Uh, your thoughts, two minutes or less, on the Lacey Act and the impact it could have on someone like yourself. Everybody's different, but what's, what, what about for you? Well, so for me, I'm a, I'm a unique individual. I'm a unique individual. Uh, first thing, the Lacey Act would definitely impact our business significantly, um, potentially could put us out of business, which would not be a good thing. Um, but on the other side of that is I, I do not stress about it at all. Uh, I'm a firm believer that God has a plan for everything and it all just kind of works out. And so I don't stress about it. I'm doing everything I can to get it overturned, talking to our senators, things like that. Um, luckily, I'm friends with uh, uh, somebody that is friends with our main senator. And so so it's it's good. I mean, we're, we're making as many strides to impact it as we can. Um, but at the end of the day, you don't, you can't stress about things you can't control, and that's one big thing. Is this is out of our control? All we can do is voice our opinion and go from there. So we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't get all worked up. Just sort of take a breath, keep enjoying and promoting the hobby, and doing, uh, doing the work. Yep, gotta work the rest of it out. Okay, folks, if you're not familiar with Flip Aquatics, check them out on <laughs> YouTube. We got some good content there. Awesome. Thank you, Thank my you friend. Ben. Thank you, appreciate, appreciate it. Guys. All right, so I'm, I'm here with old friend. And uh, you know him as John, KG Tropicals. Knows me. Everybody knows John. <laughs> uh, quick question, John. First of all, uh, what do you think of the show? Amazing. Way bigger than last year. You were here last year, weren't you? Yeah, last summer. It was, yeah. it was a great show last year, but it's even better this year. So overwhelming, exhausting, but a blast. I agree. I agree. Great, great the way they laid it out. I like the way they have the speakers behind a wall so you don't get distracted by noise. Yes. Much better. They thought it out better. Yep. So one quick question for you and just your, just your, your quick take on, I'm just asking a lot of YouTubers here, your take on the Lacey Act, especially for you because I think you're selling fish, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am somebody that believes in not panicking, panicking until I know it's time to panic and threats don't panic me I don't know listen I don't even know what I'm talking about when it comes to this thing so as far as I know it's it's not a done deal it's something that happens almost every year and it's never amounted to anything so I am not gonna hit the panic button until I know I have to hit the panic button and that's hopefully gonna help me to live to be a very old man because I'm not worrying about things that I can't control if it happens yeah it's, it's something that I'll certainly probably regret not preparing for, but as of right now, I don't know enough about it to really worry about it. Very cool. So let's not panic. Let's all take a deep breath and keep enjoying the hobby. And uh, thank you, John. Hey, you're very and, welcome. And uh, give, give our best to Lisa. We miss her here. I miss her too. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you, buddy. All right. So many great people at the show. Here I am with uh, Brett from the, from the TV program Tanked, one of my favorite programs, along with Jason. And here I am with uh, Corey from the Aquarium Co-op. Folks I would have liked to have spent more time with and talked more with, but you can only get so much done in two days. I was able to attend one of the talks, uh, the one given by John from KG Tropicals. And uh, un unbeknownst sure. to him, he had actually won uh, second place in a aquascaping contest. And while he was up on stage, uh, well, here I'll show you. They have a skill that I don't have, which is an art. See, you're an artist, so you should be able to do it better than me. But I'm a drawing artist. Different types. Go, John. Go, John. Go, John. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
there you have the people of Aquashella, and certainly that's missing a lot of the ones that were there that I couldn't include or didn't film uh, that came up and said hello, and um, it was just a blast, and it is the people that make it so special. I do have two other videos coming out on this topic, which will be about the fish, the fish that were on display at Aquashella, and that will include invertebrates and corals, which are pretty interesting as well, and um, enormous shrimp collection there. And also, uh, I have another video that's going to be on the vendors and products. Uh, a lot of interesting products, a lot of uh, vendors represented at the show. So stay tuned for those. Instead of releasing one 35-minute video, I know how hard it is to keep people's attention on YouTube. I decided to break it up into three parts. So hopefully you can watch all three or watch the part that you're interested in the most. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, uh, be sure to go ahead and uh, click Click that uh, subscribe button and uh, the, hit, the, hit, hit the bell and the thumbs up and tell YouTube that you like what you're seeing here on the channel. And that way YouTube will recommend the video and the channel to other fish keepers. That's how the channel can grow. If you'd like to support the channel, there are many ways you can do so. Uh, you can become a Patreon and uh, for three bucks a month or more and, uh, or use my Amazon link to shop on Amazon or you can buy products like coffee mugs from the Teespring store. So lots of ways to uh, uh, allow me to continue producing content and taking trips to places like Florida and bringing you video content. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in, my friends. You are appreciated as always. And uh, I think that's it for me. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Watch for the two other videos on vendors and products and on the fish at Aquashella. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.